This is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at how to make Maya start faster. Maya takes forever to load, which is super annoying, so let's get into it. So I recently updated to Maya 2019. I usually stick on the older versions as long as I can because I find they usually break stuff in the new versions. But what I noticed as soon as I upgraded, well, I've actually noticed this for a long time, is Maya takes forever to load. It takes like 400 years to open the program. I want to say this started happening around Maya 2015 or 2016. I can't remember, but Maya used to load like pretty fast. And now it just to the person using it or an artist or whatever, if something takes more than a couple seconds, it feels like minutes or hours or, or 400 years, whatever, it doesn't matter. So we're going to look at some plugins that you can disable that will actually make Maya load significantly faster. And I've found for my work, I'm a texture artist and a modeling artist. And I found for me personally, I almost never use these plugins or I've never used them professionally in like the last uh, 18 years. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to my programs and find Maya. So open Maya 2019. So click it. And now Maya is loading. And this is actually my custom logo that I have in here. We'll do another video about how to replace the Maya loading screen with whatever image you want. So that's just my little custom one here. Okay, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading. Still loading, still loading, we're still loading. So it's pretty slow. We're still loading, if you can believe it. Okay, there we go, I think. Okay, so say okay. And I've got control. OK, so there, we're actually loaded into the program now. So that was brutal. I don't know how long that took, but I actually thought it had frozen or I forgot to click on the screen or whatever, but it was still loading. So you can see just how slow it is. Probably extra slow on a fresh like preferences and everything, but it doesn't matter. Whatever we do here is going to speed up every subsequent load anyways. So I'm just going to maximize the Maya here. So I just loaded one more time and then I'm just going to disable this guy. So highlight what's new. I actually like that feature, but show it startup. I don't like that. Say OK. And part of Maya that loads by default is a bunch of plugins that you may or may not want to use. And some of those plugins I never use or rarely use. And if we disable those, we can actually make the program load a lot faster. So to do that, you go up into Windows and you go to Settings and Preferences. And then you go come down here to the Plugin Manager and launch that little guy. And so this is all the plugins that Maya comes with by default. And some of those are loaded automatically and some of them aren't. And so what we're going to do is going to come in and turn off some of the most expensive plugins that take the longest to load. So the slowest one by far is the Bifrost plugin. That's a, like a visual effects particle thing that I never use because I'm not a visual effects uh, artist. So you can actually just come up here and you can just type by F. And you can see here's all the Bifrost stuff. And I'm just going to turn off the auto load for all of these guys. And I'm going to unload them in the current session as well. So that's basically going to make it so the next time you start Maya, these won't automatically load with the program. It's also going to break any of the Bifrost menus. That's OK. You can come into here at any time and reload all this stuff, and then the menus will work fine. So along with Bifrost, MASH is also a pretty slow one. So search for MASH, turn off auto loaded and loaded. MASH is actually really cool. I've just started using this. It's kind of slow to use, but it's pretty powerful. So maybe we'll do a video in the future. But again, I don't use this often. It's very rare that I use this plugin. But I open Maya every single day, multiple times a day. So turn it off and we'll see what happens. And then the last one that we want to do is called XGen. And I've never used this. I've read a couple tutorials on it, and it looks cool. But again, I've never used it in my professional career. And then so here it's complaining. It's saying like, well, if you turn that off, the shelf is going to be like all corrupt. And that's fine. Say OK and say OK. And if you do need to use XGen in the future, you can just re-enable it and the shelf will reappear. OK, so we've got our three worst defenders turned off. So let's just close the plugin manager. And now we can just close Maya. Don't need to save. Close that down. Still looks like it takes quite a while to close down but we'll see how it starts up. Okay, that was kind of brutal, actually, how long it took to close. Okay, and we're ready to restart Maya and see the magic. So back to my programs, Maya 2019, click it. Here we go. This part is probably going to always take the same amount of time. It's like once the interface loads and you're just kind of stuck there waiting and it kind of tricks you. Okay, so we're going. Here we go. And that's it. We're done. So that's way faster. Like the first time I did this, I thought it actually froze. And so now we're like already ready to move around and do stuff. So very helpful. Save yourself a lot of time because that'll add up during the day. And also it's just really annoying. So uh, if I need to use those plugins, I'll just re-enable them later and use them and then turn them off again when I'm not using them. Because mostly I'm just doing modeling and texturing stuff. 
that can save you a bunch of time if you don't have to wait for that load every time. And if you really want to speed things up and you're not rendering anything in Maya, you could actually also turn off the uh, Arnold plugin as well. I do this quite a bit because I would like render in Unreal or Marmoset or something. I'm not doing any preview renders here. So you can go for Arnold, I think. Let's see. No, it's not called Arnold. It's called M. 2a i believe yeah so this is the arnold plugin so if you're not ever going to render anything or render very infrequently uh, this guy takes a while to load as well same thing force that whatever close that guy down but uh that one's a little bit more controversial because it's the built-in render that ships with maya so i think you're going to get like some annoying error all the time it's not going to hurt anything it's just going to be annoying but disabling that will also make maya load a little bit faster as well and what we should have done when i opened maya was actually have the script edit Editor open with history turned on so we could see when it the exact moment that it finished loading but we'll just do that right now i've also disabled arnold so maybe we'll see a little bit of speed up there as well so open this guy up wait for it to load here we go and here it's loading and you can see when this thing stops spewing then it's done that's it so it actually loads really fast now. And then here's that same test with everything re-enabled. So load that stuff up. All those expensive plugins re-enabled. Still got the script editor open. So you can see all the spew happening there. And then it gets to here. And you think it might be done, but that is actually not done. See, it said successfully imported the Arnold stuff, and then here it's still going. It just takes a really long time. Okay, so now it's done. So when the result comes up, so I noticed this the last time I did it, it said result like 140, and now it's 177. So I think that's the delta in time differences. So we saved like 37 seconds or something. So that's quite a bit of load time. Maybe that's not seconds. Maybe it's milliseconds. I'm not sure. But uh, this definitely took longer to load with everything enabled. So definitely unload those plugins if you are not using them on a regular basis. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a world-class day.